What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you about sales tax, tax rate, and original or purchase price. Okay, so first of all, what is sales tax? Well, the most basic way I can explain it is whenever you buy something like a computer, a phone, a TV, things like that, it'll have a price attached to it, right? Maybe it's $5, $10, $100, $500, dollars—whatever. whatever. But when you actually go to pay for it, it always costs a little bit more. And that's because of sales tax. So sales tax is the little bit of extra money we have to pay on top of what we're already spending. Okay, and the two main equations that we're gonna use are these two right up here. So let me explain those real quick. So the first one says that sales tax is equal to the tax rate times the original price, okay? So the sales tax is gonna be in dollars, and that's gonna be equal to the tax rate, which is a percentage. But whenever we plug in a percentage into our equation, we have to turn it into a decimal, okay? So just keep that in mind. And then we would multiply that by the original price, which is in dollars also. And then the second equation says that the total cost, which is in dollars, is equal to the original or the purchase price, which is also in dollars, plus the sales tax, which, like I showed you up here, is in dollars also. So let's jump into this first example so I can show you how we use these two formulas. Okay, so this first problem says, I bought a Justin Bieber body pillow. The tax rate was 6.5% of the original price. Okay, and then it says find the sales tax and the total cost if the original price was $22, okay? So let's start with the first problem right here, okay? Find the sales tax. So how do you find sales tax? Well, it would be this formula right here, right? So the sales tax, which I'll abbreviate as ST, is equal to the tax rate. What is the tax rate in this problem? Uh, the tax rate was 6.5%, right? But again, we can't plug in 6.5% right here. We first have to turn this into a decimal. So how do you do that? Well, a quick way of doing that is just ignoring or dropping your percent sign, okay? And then what number do we have here? We have 6.5, right? Now, all you have to do is grab your decimal, wherever it is, and then move it two times to the left. So we're gonna go one, two, okay? So that's where our decimal goes. And as you can see, we have an empty place value right here. So in order to fill in the blank right here, you just have to put a zero. So instead of having 6.5, this turned into 0.065, okay? So 6.5% as a decimal is 0 0.065, 0 0.065. And also the more proper way of writing this would just be putting a zero at the beginning, okay? So 0 0.065, so that is our tax rate and then we're gonna multiply that by the original price. Okay, so multiply that by what is the original price? Well, it doesn't say it in the problem up here, it actually says it in the question right here. It says the original price was $22. And then you can simply plug this in, 0 0.065 times 22 into your calculator and you would get 1.43. So the sales tax is equal to 1.43. 1.43 what? Well, remember, the sales tax, the units for sales tax is dollars, right? So I'll put my dollar sign right there. Okay, so the sales tax is equal to $1.43, or in other words, $1.43. Okay, so that's how you solve the first problem for the sales tax. Now let's go to this second problem right here. So it says find the total cost if the original price was $22. Okay, so remember, the total cost, which I'll just abbreviate TC, total cost, is equal to, right, it's equal to the original price. So what was the original price again? $22, right? Plus, plus the sales tax, okay? And what was the sales tax? Well, we just found that in the first problem, right? The sales tax was equal to $1.43. $1.43.
Okay, so this is in dollars and this is also in dollars, right? So what is $22 plus $1.43? Well, let's add up the whole numbers. What's 22 plus 1? That's 23, right? And then what's our change? Well, $22 doesn't have any change, but we have 43 cents right here, right? So we would just tack that on at the end, okay? So that would be your total cost, $23.43. Okay, so let's do one more example, and this time we're gonna have to find the tax rate. Okay, so this problem says, I bought a new watch for $50 plus tax. The sales tax was $3.80. What was the tax rate? Okay, so we're looking for the tax rate in this problem, right? Which one of our formulas has the tax rate in it? Well, it would be this one right here, right? Okay, so let's fill in what we know so far. So this formula says the sales tax is equal to all this, right? So in our problem, it says the sales tax was $3.80. So I'm going to write that down. $3.80. Okay, and that's going to be equal to, right? Equal to. The tax rate, we don't know the tax rate yet, so I'll just put an R right there for a rate. And then we're going to multiply that by the original price times the original price. What was the original price? It was $50. Also, how do I know $50 is the original price and not the total price or the total cost? Well, because if you see here, it says $50 plus tax, right? So this is a very common phrase. So whenever you see plus tax, that means the tax hasn't been included in the price yet. And remember, the total cost or the total price does already include the tax. Okay, so that's how you can tell the difference between the two. Okay, so going back to our problem here, it says $3.80 is equal to R times $50. So how do you solve for R right here? Well, all you have to do is since we're multiplying here, in order to undo the multiplication, you have to divide, right? Divide by what? Divide by what you're trying to get rid of, okay? So if we wanna isolate the variable r right here, that means we have to get rid of the 50, right? So we're gonna divide by $50. And remember, whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other, right? So we have to divide by 50 over here also. Okay, so let me clean this up a little bit. So the 50 here on top and on the bottom cancel out. So we're just gonna be left with R on this side of the equation, right? So I'll write that. So R, and then that's gonna be equal to $3.80 over 50. 3.80 over 50. Now 3.80 over 50 is the same thing as 3.80 divided by 50. So if you plug into your calculator 3.80 divided by 50, your answer would be 0 0.076. So that's equal to R. Okay, so your tax rate is equal to 0 0.076. But remember, the tax rate, the units for the tax rate have to be in a percentage, right? So we have to convert this decimal right here into a percent. How do you do that? Well, a simple way of doing that is simply grabbing the decimal point right here and moving it two times to the right. Okay, so you'd go one, Two. So that's where your decimal goes, okay? So instead of having 0 0.076, you would just have 7.6, okay? 7.6. And remember, this is a percent. So your tax rate is equal to 7.6%, right? So that would be your final answer. All right, guys, so that is how you find sales tax, tax rate, and total cost. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.